good day to all my students in ES322L Logic Circuits and Switching Theory Laboratory. So in this video, we are going to perform experiment number one. So in, in the conduct of the experiment, we will be using the simulation software multi-SIM. So let us now run the software. Let's wait for the software to load up. Now once the software is up, you can now start writing your circuit here. You can get your components here. And you can get the measuring devices here. So you have here volt, uh, multimeter, what function generator, watt meter, and so on. Okay. So let us now go to our uh, experiment one. So our experiment one is uh, diode resistor logic and gate. And this is our uh, circuit diagram. So as you can see, we have two 1N401 diodes, two LEDs, one 1 kilo ohm resistor, two single pole double throw switches, and we have a 5 volt DC source. And we also have a ground. Okay. Uh, looking at the table here, inputs A and B is actually this one. Okay. So we have to follow this uh, combination. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Remember that logic 0 is 0 volts and logic 1 is 5 volts. Okay? So let us first uh, draw our circuit using multi-SIM. Okay. So let's get our diode here. Click this one. So we have already our LED. So let's first go to our 1N401 diode. So let's click diode and let us search for IN401. Okay. So IN401 is here. So you just click OK and put the diode here. And we need two of these. So we click again and place it in the board. Okay. Next is we need two LEDs. So we click LED and we choose the LED red. Okay. We also have LED blue lead green, lead uh, orange, lead yellow. We choose lead red. We need two of these also. So we click, uh, we get two components. Then close, close first. So if you look at the circuit diagram, we already have the two diodes and the two LEDs. Okay. And as you can see that diodes are facing in the opposite direction on the left side so let us uh, right click this one and flip horizontally so now your diode is facing in the opposite direction okay so next is we get the one kilo ohm resistor so we get the uh, basic we get the, click the resistor and we have here 1k but if you remove 1k here you actually have lots of values for your resistors available in the library so in order to re to reduce time in search just type 1k here so you get 1k click and you need your uh, you close you need your DC source, click here, you have power sources, DC power, OK, then place it here. Then you need also your ground, this one, OK, place it here, OK. Then what, what we lack are the, are the two single pole double throw switches. So we need to get two of these switches. So the switches, we go to basic. 
and then we look for switch here then we have lots of switches then we choose SPDT which is single pole double throw switch then you press OK put it here press OK put it here then close okay so you just adjust uh, the, the placement of your components just drag it okay now next is uh, start connecting your components but first since this this if you look at the diagram the switches the the pole should be connected to the uh, cathode of the diode okay so the pole is here this is the double throw so let us right click rotate 90 degrees clockwise right click rotate 90 degrees clockwise so now the pole is on the side of the cathode also click 90 degrees clockwise click another uh, clockwise so again the 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 pole is, is now on the side of the cathode of the diode okay now the key which is equal to space refers to the the uh, space bar of the keyboard that will activate this this uh, switches so if i play if i, if I uh, press space then the two switches will move okay As you can see here so i need to change the key of the other switch i could write the letter a in order to activate uh, the switch of switch 2 so if i press space only s1 will activate if i press a only s2 will activate okay now our source voltage is 12 volts but in our diagram we only have 5 volts so we can edit this one double click and write 5 volts next thing you want to do is to connect the components you can start here then from the source voltage connect it here it's up to you no uh, the, the connections will be up to you if you have the software with you you can actually practice uh, connecting it will really be hard for me to 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 impart this knowledge if you will not actually perform it yourself so the you can drag this in order to connect straightly as you can see this is not straight so you can drag this upwards okay then connect this one okay then this one we will connect now you look at the diagram the one of the uh, throws will be connected to zero and the other ones connected to five volts okay so the default position will be on the zero so let us connect this one to to ground this one just stop it here and uh, this was connected to positive five this one will be connected to positive five okay i think we are already done next thing we're going to do is place voltmeters so we have a multimeter here place it here we need three we are the the meters will there we, uh, will be there to monitor the inputs and the output okay so switch one is a switch to is b so as you can see in our data in our table a and b zero zero so this is meaning zero volts zero one is zero and five volts one zero is five volts and zero one one is five, both are five volts 
Okay. So we actually transfer the switches in order to to follow those input combinations. So the multimeter will be there to monitor our output F is actually here. Okay, F. So we need to connect our voltmeter here and ground. This will monitor the voltage of our output. Then our input A will monitor also the voltage of that. Let's connect it here, ground. Then our input B connect it here going to ground okay so if you double click each multimeter you can actually set it to a meter voltmeter ohmmeter and uh, decibel and this is AC this is DC so for now we will set it to DC and voltmeter then set uh, just disregard this one so will be close this one this is DC voltmeter close this is a DC voltmeter okay so what we're going to do now is since we are already done you can actually highlight this one and you can drop the entire circuit downwards so that you can view clearly our diagram okay so now since we are finished with the diagram let us double click our uh, our voltmeters so we can monitor the values okay so uh, this this voltmeter is for output this two voltmeter is for our inputs so let us now run the program rather the circuit the simulation remember that in our table the first input combination is 0 0 inputs A and B so that's why our switches is connected to ground 0 volts so when you run you'll be able to get a reading not really exactly 0 volts but this is the two are nanovolts and output is millivolts so definitely this output although this is very near to 1 volt but in our experiment logic 1 is 5 volts and logic 0 is 0 volts and uh, 576 millivolt is near to 0 volt than it is to 5 volt that's why your output F for the input combination 0 0 your output F is 0 based on this value so your output here is 0 so you can write it here 0 so for input combination 0, 0, output F is 0. So let us now try now inputs combination 0 and 1. So 0 and 5 volts. Input B will be 5. So let us stop. Let us click this one. This is our B. Let us connect it to 5 volts and let us run. So as you can see, this voltmeter reads 4.795 volts, very near to 5. This is still nanovolt, this is still millivolt. So for the input combination 1 and 0, output is still 0. So this is still 0. Next is 1, 0. So we have now, uh, you stop. We get this to 0 and connect this to 5. And let us run again. So as you can see, this is 5 volts. Input A is 5 volts. Here, input A is 1. And input B is nanovolt, output is millivolts, so definitely output is still zero. So the last input combination is one one, so both are connected to five volts. So we stop again, connect both inputs to five, and let us run again. So as you can see, this is five volt, this is four point seven nine five volt, very near to five. So this is one one, output is four point nine nine eight volt, very near to 5 so output here is 1 so based on this based on this experiment you comply part 7 answer 
question number one based on the experiment, not based on the theory. Okay? So I want you to uh, describe the behavior of AND gate based on the experiment, not based on theory. Then this is a two input AND gate because this is only A and B. You design a five input logic, diode resistor logic AND gate. Okay? Based on this experiment, uh, you can now answer uh, question one. And for exercise, you design a five input diode by just modifying this diagram. Okay? So I hope, stop, I hope uh, you are able to understand experiment number one. We will have another video on the succeeding experiments.